So that works. I'll go and put the camera back at the other end, see if we can hit it with the car. Hi guys, we're in my garage at the moment. What we've got here is some odd offcuts left by my builders when they replace the fascias, soffits and gutters all around my house. This particular type of plastic bit is the bit that goes just up there. So I saved a few offcuts and I'm going to make a very simple rubber band powered car out of this one because it's got holes through it that we can put the axles through if we're in focus yeah we're in focus so yeah we'll just use this piece I might tidy it up a little bit they they haven't cut very straight lines down the sides not that that will make any difference whatsoever but I reckon four CDs and either barbecue skewers or bicycle spokes for axles and that'll do the job. I was going to tidy the edges up and then I thought no we'll leave it rough just so it doesn't discourage anybody and looks too neat and tidy. That's my excuse. Um, I've cut a slot in the end here because we need to be able to wrap the rubber band round the axle. We'll use the existing holes for the axle tubes. These are barbecue skewers. They're actually ones that I've used before, as you can tell by the bits stuck on them. For wheels, I'm going to use CDs. Now, you can just use tape to stick bottle caps on them to cover the hole in the middle because obviously your normal CD <laughs> needs something in the middle for the axle to grip so yeah sticky tape plastic bottle caps hole through the middle that'll work absolutely fine there's actually an advantage in using sticky tape like that because if you get the position wrong you can actually push it a little bit and straighten it up. Alternatively, just blocks of cardboard glued on there. That'll do. Or because I happen to have a 3D printer, you can 3D print a nice little adapter that goes in the middle there. Um, Although it clips in there nicely, I find it tends to slip a bit, so I just put a bit of tape over the outside. That will work absolutely fine. And I happen to have four of them already. That one's looking a little bit sorry, but uh, yeah, they'll do the job. So we'll put them on. That one feels a bit loose. You want them to grip tightly on the ones that are going to be on the back wheels. Front wheels aren't quite so important. They can be a bit loose, but the back wheels, you want them to be a tight fit. I mean, you can always glue them. But I like to be able to reuse my component parts. You want a bit of a gap in there as well, so that they can move around. Ideally, you'd put a little spacer in there so that the wheels don't actually rub up against the side, because that will slow them down. But I think we'll be okay. So I'll put some on the front. Oh, I also melted a hole through there. This UPVC, when I melted it, it really stunk. It was very smelly when it melted. So I don't recommend doing that. Just drill a hole through there. 
I just like I like using my hot nail on a stick for lots of my projects. If you've seen lots of my projects, you'll know I do use it regularly. Anyway, yeah, we'll put them through there as well. Rig it up, get some rubber bands and give it a go. Rubber bands, we don't need a lot of power for this car. Um, these are all ones that a friend of mine collected because they know I do rubber band powered cars. So they give me a bag full of them. There's all sorts in there. Different sizes. What sort of length do we need? I think those two will probably be enough. Could use three, or you could just use one and add a bit of cotton to get back to the back axle. We'll see if we can get on with just two of them. If that isn't long enough, as you could see, I've got a bag full of them, so I'm not short. I'll just use the two for now. Some people don't know how to join rubber bands together. If you push one through the other, and then push the other end of it through itself, there you go, nicely joined together. And because I made that hole at the front, I can push the loop through there, push all the rest of it through there, and there we are, connected. Over the back axle, you could glue a little hook on there. Just the end of the barbecue skewer glued on there at like a T-shape to hook that on. But if you just wrap it over itself, like that, it holds itself on. And that'll do the job. So that's what we're going to do. So that works. I'll go and put the camera back at the other end, see if we can hit it with the car. Well that worked. So that is a rubber band powered car made from an offcut from some plastic soffit left over by my builders doing my roof.